I, I, okay, I announced so, it. yeah, go ahead and okay. announce the runway. Spanish Fort traffic, gyroplane 50512, taxiing on runway 30. Let's just do this a little more gently and slowly as we throttle up so that we feel that balance when we're taking off. Okay. Oh, oh, throttle up a little more slowly. Yeah, just so you feel okay. You feel a little bit more imbalance as you go. Okay. Try that. We got plenty of runway, so. Good. One. Mm. Two. Three. And pre rotate. Good, waiting for sixty. Good, squeeze a little harder. Yeah, I could have waited just a little on throttle, that's okay. Now the last time it really lugged the motor down. Yeah. There's 100. Good. Coming back on back. the stick. Okay, now I can go all the way back. Yep, add a little throttle. Okay. Good. Kind of looking out there further. Yep. More throttle, wait for the nose to come up. Good, get her in balance. Get it back into balance. Push a little forward, a little forward, a little right, a little left, okay. left. Oh, there you go. See, that's, see how high the nose is? Yeah, oh yeah. Are we going to fly? Oh yeah. I need more throttle too. No, you need less pitch. Uh, we, is it going to be able to fly this way? No. Oh. It can't fly that way, can oh, it? Oh boy, no, even with throttle. No, even full throttle, it's not going to fly that no. way. No. Alright, taxi off, push forward. Oh. If you have too much pitch up when it takes off, yeah. it's not going to fly. So, you're behind the power curve. Even no matter how much power you're going to have, if it's stuck up like yes. this, it's just going to fly yes. back down onto the runway. And that's yep. what we wanted it to do in that situation, as opposed to trying to push the nose over to gain speed, because what would happen if we just shoved the nose over to get speed? Oh, we yeah, jump we on plop, the nose wheel. Yeah, we yeah. plop down onto the nose wheel. Yes. Since we have some forward speed, then we rip around to the left or the right, because we got crosswind, right? So the best way to do it is let it put it back onto the tail wheel. Wind. Let it settle back onto the runway, and in this case, we're just going to abort this takeoff and go back. But this okay. is a perfect example of what happens if you take off with the insufficient power for the angle of attack. Yeah. Yes. It can't fly. Yep. All right. Cool. Motor break. The I I wasn't wa I wasn't watching the tack. I don't think you, you don't really have to watch the rotor tack after you come no, off the. No, but the, the engine tack. I did. I wasn't up to forty-seven. Oh well, but when you took off, I put throttle in because you were. Oh, right did out. you? Yeah, because you were way nose up, so I throttled way up. But you left the nose way up. You brought the nose up even more, trying to pull it up off the ground. Okay. After, yeah, after it came up, yes. And yeah. so then we were like this, then there's yes. there's really no solution other than it's going to come yep. back onto the ground. We'll let it make a normal landing, put it back on, and start over. That's the absolute best solution. There's really no other solution. Okay? Uh, but that's perfect, because we have to learn that anyway. Go, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Now we did, yeah.
that's actually an exercise that we usually do as we come off and I don't put enough power in to make it fly and you get too much nose up and it just comes right back onto the tail. That's kind of like what happens when we're doing the hops, right? Because okay. we don't have really enough power to get out of ground effect. So to put it back on the runway, what do we do? We pitch up, right? Pitch up, yes. And it goes down. And that's the same thing here. At every power setting, there's a pitch that'll make it go down. Yep. Hey, are we okay with that? Yep, I'm fine with that. Go ahead and lock it in.